Family Care Visiting Nurse and Home Care Agency provides a full range of quality care in the comfort of a patient's home. And today we're going to zero in on two of those areas, diabetes and congestive heart failure. Joining me now is Christina Rosa, the RN team leader. Welcome, Christina. Thank it's great you. to have you. Nice to be here. You've been on the show before. Let's get people who mm -hmm. may not be familiar with the agency up to date what the agency does. If you can give them a sure. general overview. We are a visiting nurse agency comprised of a full team of nurses and home health aides. We go into a patient's home to kind of teach them how to better care for their new diagnosis for later on in life. You actually have five locations? We have five locations. Our main location being in Stratford, New Haven, Norwalk, Waterbury, and Meriden. But today we're talking about two specific Mm -hmm. topics and it, the first one is diabetes, yes. diabetes self-management, diabetes on the rise with the number of, yes. obe of course, uh, the, with the obesity also yes, on the rise. very much so, absolutely. With the high rise of obesity, more patients are being hospitalized with diabetes coming home and not knowing how to manage it. So what's the first thing that they need to do, that is blood glucose Yep, we have monitoring. our nurses go in, we teach them how to check their sugars with their machines. Um, how to use the machine, prick themselves and get their little sample and how often they need to check their sugars and the ranges of their blood sugars, when to call the doctor, when to call the nurse. The blood glucose monitoring, I know it can be overwhelming for some folks. Very much so. A lot of people are afraid of meals, number one, blood. Yes. Um, it's a lot of teaching, a lot of teaching, um, and they get their machine and we sit with them, and it's a slow process. We're not expecting them to learn it overnight. Our nurses can go in and check their sugars for them while we teach, so that way it is getting done, but in the meantime, they'll get a handle on it, they right. learn. Until they get comfortable then. Absolutely. And also we talk about instruction on insulin self-injection. Yes, we have a lot of patients who start insulin, unfortunately, and like I said, they don't like the needles. We teach them how to draw up their insulin, what dose they need to take, and how to inject their insulin and where on their bodies they should inject it. Education really is the key here. It is a big part of our role. The nurses go in, we do a lot of teaching. And also I know that diet instruction and counseling is also part of that. We all know that diabetes can be controlled through diet. Absolutely, yes. We teach the patients what to take, um, watching their sugar, but also watching their carbohydrate intake is a huge player. We can sit with them in their kitchens, go through what they have in their house, also how to read their labels, and um, food diaries. Also just trying to keep track of what they're eating daily. And there is a way to get off the medication if you really mm -hmm. yes. watch your diet and exercise Exercising as well. and diet is a huge role. Uh, we have plenty of people who eventually stop medication just with daily exercise and watching what they eat. And another one we want to talk about in another area is congestive heart failure. Yes. Number one killer, heart disease, number one killer for men and women. Absolutely. Patients are in the hospital and they come home, they don't know what it means and they don't know how it affects their lives. Um, we go in, it's also a lot of diet teaching, uh, watching their sodium is what they really need to do and um, how they deal with the fluid. It's a fluid overload. So how do you help people at home? We do the diets, we check their vitals, we measure their weight, daily weights uh, plays a role in it. They need to check their weight daily and monitoring their legs, fluid in their legs. Lifestyle education, is that something that, par that people still don't quite understand that they no, need to be doing? They don't. They go home and think it's back to the way things were before and everything's better now when they're out of the hospital, but it's not. It is a lifestyle change. Um, it affects their daily life, it affects their breathing, their sleeping. So we do a, mainly teaching and medication teaching also. How do you drive that message to them though? A lot of reinforcement, positive reinforcement. Um, we sit with them, talk to them, let them talk to us about what's bothering them. We also kind of play a counselor role as well. The nutrition, uh, you say you really sit down and talk to yes. them about what they're eating and make, uh, you totally change the way they eat. Change the way they eat. It's, uh, we could do food diaries. We sit with labels, how to measure their sodium, writing what they eat so they can look back and see what they did for the day. Do you go with them to the grocery store? No, but when we go there, we can sit with them and have them write and we can sit with them saying, that's not something you should be having and um, see what else they can make other decisions. 
And uh, really quickly, Family Care Visiting Nurse and Home Care Agency is located at 999 Orinoco Lane. Yes, in Stratford. And that is in Stratford. Mm -hmm. The phone number on your screen right there, 203-380-3220. Or you can go to familycarevn.com. Yes. Christina, thanks so much for Thank being you. here. Lots of great information. Thank you very much. Don't go away. There is more Connecticut style right after this.